Hello, Buzzacouts! My name is Halsey, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we placed quite a bit of plastic tubes so that our duplicates can get around more quickly. And we finished our second rocket mission, uh, which means we have researched uh, the petroleum engine and that's the next step that we have to take and petroleum engine means we need petroleum so let's build a bit of a tank here Um, um, also there. Um, then we will have a door there. to the top and we need a pump we can place down here so this one comes from down there somewhere and this one will eventually go up so Everything up. And then the other thing that we need to do is we need a bit of, of a cooling system. And we will do this here on this side. And this comes in two parts. One part is the system uh, where we are actually doing the cooling and this is split in uh, two parts or two rooms the, the upper room um, will be the one um, where we have the, uh, the steam turbines for cooling and down below we will have uh, aqua tuners so basically this is the setup Uh, 
on top. So one, two, which means this is the room. And then we just dig everything out here. Right? And then here on this side. We will have something like that. And level going down. Level going up. Everything out here as well. And uh, let's make it this way. This will be our container where we uh, store uh, gold liquid. a bit of, um, of time for duplicates um, until they can make some progress here uh, but then we should see things happening um, of course um, here we like this um, there we need uh, a lock uh, so we can pump everything out and for the cooling normally you would use uh, polluted water which can have a temperature below zero uh, but seeing that the temperatures are well below zero that will not work so we will use also petroleum for the cooling, which means uh, we can even cool down the liquid more than with polluted water. Which should be, I would guess, a good thing. So. Let's do the connection here already. And then we can add that problem to here. And we will need to clean up everything, especially the uh, bleach stone. So that we do not get constantly um, chlorine in here. Yep, yeah, but I think uh, the duplicates have their work cut out. So um, let's make a jump into the future to see what they have achieved. They made pretty good progress here. This tank is already done and here this chamber is now also sealed. Uh, we only have to finish that one and then of course put in the instruments in there. However, let's start filling this tank up. It will take a while. And we do have this pipe here that we just can connect there. And then we should get the petroleum in there. And we also need to fill this tank here. I'm not actually, we do not need that 
one. Uh, we probably can get rid of this one. And I think the, the tricky bit here is the layout. Um, like this, then for each pump, also a vent, and the first one, this one goes actually over to here, and then probably This side, but we have to figure out how to, uh, uh, to do the, the, the piping. And then, of course, in here, uh, that's where we will have a utility and a cartooner made out of steel. Then for the piping up here we can see uh, we get the water in and we connect this like that and then we have a bit of bridge magic like this. Sensors that we make also steel, and then we need the wiring. coming in and if the aqua tuner is turned off because the liquid is cool enough then we bypass and go up here and there and that's the same pattern for all three of those uh, and of course um, 
the, uh, the gates that we have here that we set to allow the, the liquid through uh, will be decreasing. So the last one uh, just ensures that the petroleum is cooled down uh, to a degree where it's not freezing. All right, and then above here, we do not have enough steel, so we need more. And apparently we are lacking iron. So let's queue up 50 iron and surface steel. Then let's dig out a bit on this side. We can have level going down because Something like this. To power the pumps. Right? So... Then... getting the petroleum in here and once we have reached the level there we can also start filling uh, this container so what we are actually having here is this uh, lowest pump that's the one uh, which is the responsibility to pump the liquid, the petroleum, uh, through the cooling system to make sure uh, all the liquid uh, is clean enough. And then the, uh, the other pumps, uh, they can take out uh, the, uh, the petroleum to cool things. And what we will do is... Um, will break these ones here because for each pump I do want to have a switch so I can turn it on and off uh, just in case uh, the, the temperatures of the liquid are getting too high we do not manage to cool it down enough, uh, then we must have a means to ensure, okay, let's not use the liquid to cool other things down if the liquid, the petroleum itself, is um, too warm. Right, and I would assume this brings uh, this set up here. Uh, we do have enough oil over here, so that's that's all good. Um, looking okay. Um, up here, uh, no power generation through the um, through the hydrogen generators. Um, but yeah, we still have a way to go, but I think the, the most tricky part, the planning of uh, all the pipes, it's almost
is done. We need a bit more here. Um, basically connect this uh, with that one. Um, and we will use um, this cool liquid in order to cool our steam turbines. So that's something else that, that we need to do. And then uh, here we need, of course, water um, for the whole system to work. And once we have a vacuum, we can close off here on this side uh, once we have finished that over there. So, as you can see, there is still a way to go until we are finished here. Um, but at least we have a solid plan how to do it. Looking real good here on this side, the uh, cooling system all is in place. So now we only have to close up here and we can let in a bit of hydrogen and we are good to cool down. Here on this side, uh, the container is full. We have a bit of brine in here. Uh, because we had a bit of ice that melted same thing happened here but here I am hoping that uh, once the level rises up to here brine will spill over at the top and we can get rid of it that way so let's see I think we need one gas bridge here and then we get the hydrogen in there so that's basically the starting point already for the next episode because we are at the end of this one hope you enjoyed it i did and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye